Hi everyone. In today's video, I again take up an oral exam question that was uh, asked of a candidate. But I've classified this question for all ranks because I think this question can be asked of either a second mate, chief mate or a master. So this is a marine oral exam question for all ranks part two. And in this video, I will take up one question and provide you with a detailed response good enough for you to reiterate the same to your examiner to satisfy their query about your knowledge in this topic. In today's video, the question is briefly explain the factors that are likely to cause rapid deterioration of bulk carrier vessels. So what leads to the deterioration? What does deterioration means? That means a kind of a weakness in the structural failure of the bulk carrier that eventually leads to it breaking or it uh, sustaining damage uh, or you know developing uh, holes uh, in the structure which leads to subsequent flooding. So the first reason the bulk carriers do deteriorate is because they have kind of a rough life at sea. And they are long vessels, much longer than other vessels, and usually operate either in full cargo or in complete ballast, that is absence of cargo. In cargo, they are generally sagged, about eight centimeters sagging deflection for a handy max is fairly common. If you don't know what hogging means, you can see it on the screen. Hogging means when there is more weight on the ends of the vessel than there is in the middle of the vessel. And when the ballast, when the bulk carrier is in ballast condition, that is when there is no cargo on the vessel, they are generally hogged. So hogged is when the vessel is carrying more weight at the ends and sagged is when the vessel is carrying more weight in the center as compared to the ends. Now these vessels alternate between hogging and sagging conditions throughout their working lives. And this kind of constant bending has deteriorating effects on their hulls. The hull becomes weaker over a period of time. Although it is strengthened using strengthening members, it is strengthened, but over a week, over a period of time, because of this hogging and sagging, uh, it creates a bending moment for vessels, which leads to its deterioration. The constant rapid pumping of ballast water in and out also puts pressure on the tank buildings. Also the bulk carrier commodities are often heavy, not all are heavy, but sometimes bulk carriers do carry heavy cargoes. For example, most common exports out of Australia is iron ore and coal, which are loaded at about 7,500 uh, tons per hour. Iron ore is loaded at about 7,500 tons and coal is loaded at about 500, 600 tons per hour, which is quite a rapid loading of heavy cargo. Now, rapid loading operations also cause the vessel to bend and flex and this kind of accelerates speeds up the hull bending caused by alternate cargo or ballast voyages. Now particularly with heavy cargo such as iron ore or bauxite the distribution in the cargo holes leads to interesting stress patterns around and below the waterline. So the shell plating is pushed inwards by water pressure. Also with heavy cargoes loaded rapidly the tank tops in the holes takes a good hammering during loading. Discharge operations are mainly with very large grabs. I'll show you the photo in the next slide. And large grabs bash the tank tops and sometimes the combings and other structures as the grab moves in and out of the holes. Now, as cargo level drops, heavy machines such as bulldozers are placed in the holes to move the remaining cargo into the hatch square. And again, the tank tops bear the brunt of these machines operations, but hopper sides and seams also take their share of punishment from machinery during discharges. The other reasons why bulk carriers deteriorate was reported by the International Association of Classification Society. So the number one reason, and where I have the picture, you can see that severe localized corrosion of the side structure that could lead to fractures and water entry into the forward holes uh, can cause deterioration. So corrosion affects all kinds of vessels, but bulk carriers, it affects bulk carriers in ways where, of course, because the uh, kind of cargoes that are loaded in bulk carriers sometimes differs vastly and that can speed up the corrosion as well. Uh, as compared to, of course, tanker vessels or oil 
I'm talking about them. The second picture shows you that there's a lack of capability of the transverse corrugated bulkheads in the presence of any level of corrosion that would compromise the ability to withstand a flooded hold condition if high dynamic loads were present. So often bulk carriers uh, do not um, have transverse corrugated bulkheads. So picture number two is an example of what corrugated bulkheads look like. They are strengthening members of ships. So that is often missing in a bulk carrier. So if there's a flooding situation, often the bulkheads give way and the progressive flooding takes place. So one cargo hole gets flooded and then progressively other cargo holes get flooded very quickly in bulk carriers. Then high levels of physical damage occur to side structures during unloading by grabs and bulldozers that I was talking about. So in picture number three, you can see an example of a bulldozer or a grab. When it is moving on the tank top, it kind of scratches the tank top, damages it. And over a period of time, of course, these damages become serious damages. Then there is also a possibility to overload double bottom structures and hull girders, particularly where high loading rates are employed. And finally, if you see picture number four, uh, there is an example of block loading. So there's a possibility of overloading the bulk carriers cross deck structure when block loading is used. So what is block loading? Block loading is when um, two consecutive cargo holes are loaded. Now, the problem with that is if the cargo is not distributed evenly throughout the vessel uh, or adjusted with ballast, then of course there is localized weight that starts acting on the ship structure, which over a period of time weakens the ship structure. So these are the different reasons why bulk carriers are, you know, th there's a rapid deterioration of bulk carrier vessels. Recently, there have been some incidents where bulk carriers have broken into two because the stress and strain calculations were not done properly by the chief officer and the master. And that is why I think the examiners are stressing a lot about bulk carrier and uh, candidates knowing about what factors cause their deterioration and how they should be maintained, how they should be inspected. So uh, that is why I think these questions are being asked. So this is the video on that. I hope you find this useful. Please let me know if there are any other topics you want me to cover. Otherwise, I'll keep releasing videos as I know about the relevant topics that are being asked in oral exam question. Thank you for watching today's video and all the best. This is Steering Mariner signing off. Bye for now.